Interview questions. How did you handle an angry customer? How did you handle an angry customer? This is often asked to see how you are able to appropriately manage conflict and use sound judgment when faced with difficult situations. The interviewers are seeking examples of real-life scenarios to demonstrate how you are able to think on your feet, find a solution, and maintain your professionalism. Avoid saying that you've never had this happen, but rather relate it to a situation in which you exercise conflict resolution. Show how you took the initiative to implement a solution without having to escalate it to your manager. We'll show you an example of what not to do, followed by an example of a good answer to this question. The interviewer may say, tell me about a time when you experienced an angry customer. How did you handle this? The interviewee may respond by saying, when I was a cashier at Walmart, a customer always tried to price match Walmart products that are not eligible for price matching. I informed the customer of in-store policies about price matching and Walmart brands, but they resisted and got angry. I tried to ask my manager, but I couldn't find him. At that point, the customer had been waiting for a while, so I ignored the policy and I gave the customer the Walmart product at the price of the price match. I don't like arguing with customers, and the customer is always right. That answer didn't work. Here's why. They avoided conflict instead of solving the problem. They tried to escalate the problem to the manager without trying to solve it themselves. Now, let's look at how they could have done better. The interviewee may instead respond by saying, When I was working as a sales associate at Walmart, a customer came in looking for a specific product that was on sale. It was a busy time of year, so we didn't have any of that product left in the store. The customer was agitated and vented her frustrations towards me and several other employees. I knew that I had to calm the customer down and find out what I could do to help. I took the customer aside, listened to her concerns, validated her frustrations, and I apologized for the inconvenience. Through our conversation, the customer told me that finding transportation was very challenging for her, and she was upset because she knew she wouldn't be able to go to another store to purchase the product. I then presented a solution by calling other stores to locate the product and offered to have the product delivered straight to her house the following day. As a result, the customer felt understood and made sure to tell me how much she appreciated my efforts, despite her initial concerns. Later on that day, my manager pulled me aside to recognize my people skills and my ability to handle a difficult situation with such professionalism. That was a good answer. Here's why. They explained how they resolved the issue, showing problem-solving skills. They showed that they could handle conflict professionally. They described the situation using STAR, situation, task, action, result.